Right, welcome back to the channel. I'm Coach Evans, uh, host of Siptali Films, and this little series is going to be a little something different. But I'm going to go ahead and give you a little backstory on how it started before we get into it. Well, yesterday I was playing, um, I think I was playing a little Call of Duty or whatever, just trying to brainstorm and get ideas for the channel. And you know, I mentioned it earlier about sometimes I put my ideas out there and then they show up in different places. Well, <laughs> this time I had idea, so you know I stopped doing what I was doing. I went in there and you know told my wife what the idea was. She was like, "Sounds good," you know. She really don't care, <laughs> but she's supportive. And um, so she's like, "Yeah, they, they do that." You know, this sounds a good idea. You know, this different. And um, so with I had today in mind to start doing it. So I go to work this morning and I get a tweet about ten or so ish that I think Jameson maybe retweeted somebody. Uh, a different podcast doing the 10 most important Ravens or the top 10 Ravens, you know, something along those lines. I'm like shaking my head. That was my idea. Cue the intro. Alright, so this is what we done. This is going to be the top 10 most important Ravens to me. And uh, we're going to have a little contest. So before we get started, you already have number 10 because you, well, actually, you won't have number 10 because this little intro, we're just going to talk about the three honorable mention guys I got. But what you need to do is, and I'll, I'll make sure I edit this in the, the video, send an email to sip the tally at gmail.com with your list 10 through 1 of the most important Ravens. And if you match, if your list match my list, I send you some stuff from my from my store, you know, free of charge, you know, to you wherever you work or to your home or whatever. You know, I'll get a little package and, and send it out to you. So that's our little contest. Uh, if you can pick your my top ten most important ravens for this season coming up, if your list match my list and send it to sip the tally at gmail.com, I'll send you a little sip the tally care package, uh t shirt, coffee mug, uh maybe a few other things from the store. Without further ado, let's get started on this list. All right, so let's get started. There are three guys that made the honorable mention, so they're not in the 10 most influential, but this, this video serves as an introductory to the series that's coming and gives you a little taste of what you'll get from the rest of the series. Um, the first three guys, and let me get this started. You'll see their highlights kind of playing in the background as we talk, but the first guy I want to talk about is uh, Mark Andrews and let's give you you know some stats to kind of compare and go by and then I'll give you my little spiel on what I think about Mark uh, so he played in 14 of 16 games last year I uh, had 58 catches which is ninth as among tight ends ninth among tight ends um, 701 yards which was fifth among tight ends and seven touchdowns which was which was six among tight ends let me get this closer sound probably gonna be better now because I moved the mic closer to me um, positives for Mark, a huge catch radius, huge, huge, huge catch radius. You can throw him the high point balls. He'll go up and get them, uh, throw him lower away. He can go and get them. Um, can, can make some one hand catches has a, has a great catch radius for, for Mark. Uh, another positive run after the catch, throw him something in the flats. You know, in the past, it mark a hurdle guys, or he'll try to run guys over. Uh, occasionally, he'll run away from guys, but he gets tough yardage once he, you know, gets the ball in his hand. A uh, few negatives about him: he's an okay blocker, not bad, but not, but not great. He's an okay blocker, um, but he disappears in the postseason to me. That's the biggest negative to me. He disappears in the postseason to me, um, and some may not agree, but that's just my two cents on it. Uh, overall, for Mark. There are, in my opinion, three better tight ends in the league. Uh, in no specific order, Waller, Kittle, and Kelsey. Then it's Mark. Mark is teetering right on the edge of top-tier tight end. And if we prob if we were probably a more throwing team, probably would Mark would probably be in that top tier with those other three guys. If we threw the ball more, Mark would... I'm gonna say definitely probably be in the top tier tight end. That's that's how much I that's how much I untapped potential I think he has. Even though we all love Mark Nye, I still think he can get better and will be better as we open this offense up and, and become a more balanced team. 
All right, the next guy on our list who I think you're about to see score a touchdown right here. Let's see. Is this him? Maybe. Yeah, J.K. Dobbins. So a few stats for uh, J.K. before I get into it. Same format as what I did with, with Mark. Uh, 134 attempts, which put him 35th in the league as far as rushing attempts. Um, 805 yards, which put him 18th in the league in, in rushing yards. Um, nine touchdowns, which put him 11th in the league as far as running backs. You know, all these categories are for running backs as far as touchdowns. Uh, so he had 805 yards on 134 attempts. And uh, keep in mind, his quarterback had 159 carries. But um, And keep in mind also that he was probably the third back when the season started. Probably in a close tie with Justice as being the, the third or fourth back when the season started. Because obviously uh, Ingram was our one. Gus was our two because of, you know, just stability and what he's done as a Raven. And then you had um, Justice that was there before him. Then you had Dobbins coming as his rookie, even though he was a third-round pick. Or was he a second-round pick? Second or third-round pick. But um, he moved his way up the, up the um, ladder and ended up being a starter toward the end of the year. So imagine had he been the starter the whole year what these numbers would look like. I No doubt to me he would be over a 1,000 yards. But he's coming into this season as the starter. Um, Catching-wise, he had 18 catches for 120 yards. No touchdown catch the ball. But he had six yards per carry. Six yards per carry, which is crazy. And if my math, and I did this math on my phone, so I may be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, 134 carries at, for 805 yards is right around six yards per attempt. Six yards per attempt. So, uh, fact check me on that. And if I'm wrong, put it down in the comments. As far as my positives for JK, home run threat. Can can score from anywhere on the field. Don't have, like, Chris Johnson blazing speed. But can score from anywhere on the field. He can, he can get it done. You don't. If guys are right beside him, they may catch him. But if he gets behind him, you ain't, he's not going to be too much, you know, walk down or whatnot. Uh, and as you can see on that run right there, that touchdown, he can run inside and out. The first show, the first touchdown was outside the zone. This one, he hit it up inside, letting the blocking develop. So this guy has the potential to be, in my eyes, a top five back this year. Could be a top five back in this year. Um, in the comment section, put if you could name me five guys. Potential wise, that would be better than JK this year at the running back position. My negatives for JK, it was tough for me to find many. He works in pass pro. If you go back and see my, my video from him in college, he pay, his pass pro as well. Uh, he catched the ball decent. But the, the negative I did, he did have a few drops in some key situations. He has a few drops and in, in, a few drops in some key situations. So that's the only negative I can find of him so far. I could dig in more and be more critical, but. I'm just going to leave those drops as a negative right there because he can pass pro. He can run inside and outside. Uh, if you if you want to say he don't have blazing speed, you can say that, but I think he has good enough speed to be a, a, a great running back. Emmitt Smith did, and Barry Sanders didn't have blazing speed, but you know they had other intangibles that made them good, which is what I think J.K. can because he can, he can hit it outside and get vertical on you, and as you saw a second ago, he can hit it up the middle and um, you know score inside the tackles too. All right, and my last honorable mention, uh, you've probably seen a touchdown or two stash in this highlight package that's playing in the background, is Gus Edwards. And I couldn't, I don't feel like I could, could have put Josh, I'm not Josh, J.K. Dobbins on here and not Gus Edwards because they're kind of going to kind of be joined at the hip, so to speak. They're going to probably going to split carries almost 50-50. Um Gus is going to be that inside runner that can bounce outside. Uh, Gus says he wants to be part of the passing game more. Um, so I, I don't feel like I could have put in, put in, I made that word up. I don't feel like I could have put um, JK on the list and not Gus because their roles are going to be similar with the exception of, I think JK, well, Gus, like you just saw on the screen is going to get those goal line carries. To punch it in right there. And this set right here, I I believe you can see a lot more of. You see Gus at fullback and J.K. at tailback. And that way you got 
three guys that can run the ball in the backfield at the time, you know, if you add Lamar in that mix. But um, as far as stats, um, Gus had 144 carries, which is um, – I didn't look up the rankings on this one, but it's, that's 10 more carries than, than J.K. Had 723 yards, so that's approximately 80 – so that's, let me see, that's two. That's eight. So it's 82 yards less than um, J.K. And he had six touchdowns, which is three touchdowns less than J.K. Um, nine catches for 129 yards. The positives about Gus is consistent. Rarely will you see Gus get tackled for a loss. Rarely. Rarely. Um, two seasons ago, he had one tackle for a loss, and I think it came in the playoff game. Uh, you don't see them put the ball on the ground much. Between him and Dobbins, you don't see a lot of fumbles. They will happen sparingly, but you don't see uh, see it happen often. You don't see it happen often. Uh, my negatives with Gus, uh, he's not a home run guy. But you don't need him to be a home run guy because you got Dobbins back there. And in certain situations, you can run um, Hill out there. So he doesn't have to be a home run guy. So even though that's a knock on him, that's not a knock on him and his role with this team because he's not going to be asked to do that. Now Gus can hit you for 60. No, he can hit you for 65 and, you know, and get up out of there. Not saying he can't do it. He just don't, he, he don't have that blazing speed. Um, pass pro good. Uh, blocking for JK good. So, you know, not a lot of negatives about Gus. A uh, hard worker, uh, gonna go, going pound in there like this is Gus, probably Gus run right here. Now it's a throw. Uh, gonna get in there and get it. Gonna get in there and get it. So Gus is, you know, he's on this list as honorable mention because I couldn't mention J.K. without mentioning mentioning Gus. All right, those are my three honorable mention guys. You have uh, Mark Andrews, J.K. Dobbins, uh, Gus Edwards. Again. There's a little contest going, you know, if you can, your 10 can match my 10 when we get to the end, you know, I'll send, send you a little care package from my, my store. I'll get it shipped out to you as soon as, um, this little run or run of videos is over with. But, um, the thing is for that, I'm going to, I'm going to post the, the 10th person tomorrow. So you need to get your entries in ASAP. And again, the way to do that is sip to tally at gmail.com. S I P the number two T A L L Y at gmail.com. And hopefully I'll edit that in somewhere on here for you can uh, send those emails. But uh, if you like the content, uh, want to see more, uh, please hit the like button, uh, subscribe. If you want to see the rest of the series and hit the bell. So you can be notified when they drop. So, um, camp for me starts on the second. So I got, I'm going to get all 10 of these guys in before August 2nd. I appreciate you guys rocking with me. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Peace.